the trailer park. Come join me today as I cook a chicken soup. Kenny, can you please come out and look at our beautiful mannequins? Roxy, Andre, and Ginger, and Ricky, and my Spanish mansion. Okay, so we're ready to go. All right. All right, we're gonna be making chicken soup today, and I wanna show you the different steps that I use to make this chicken soup. All right, Louie, Thank you for helping me. I'm coming into the kitchen and I am going to get ready with the gong. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands because I'm going to be Okay. Now, I started the crock pot and it's sizzling and I'm putting onions because I like brown onion in my soup. It gives it much more flavor for me. You don't have to do this. Okay, so. Ooh, ah. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, I didn't know that got hot. Ooh, mm -hmm. ah. Okay, there so there is your onion and I'm going to let it brown. Now, while that's cooking, come over here, Kenny. And I've got some chicken already cut up that I'm going to use in my broth just to give it some flavor. I got carrots, I got celery, and I got a couple of Whoa. sorry about that uh, chicken breasts. And I'm going to take the skin off because you don't want skin in your uh, chicken, okay? So I just personally don't like the skin floating around in the chicken broth. So I'm just gonna cut the skin away and try to get as much as the skin uh, off because the skin doesn't really give a flavor. It's the bones in the chicken and the chicken itself to give it flavor, um, you know, that chicken flavor. So anyway, uh, okay, so it's a little tedious, yes, but anyway, I think I did a pretty good job, and what I'm going to do is um, wait to, whoa, oops, uh, wait till the onions are browned, and I will come back and then we're going to put our soup together. Sounds good. All right. Hi, I'm back. Um, so what I want to tell you is I did put a little bit of minced garlic in. Not a lot. And you don't want it to burn because garlic can get uh, bitter. So I just threw it in. And these are the onions. They're nice and brown. Yeah. Yeah. And I am looking at this chicken. And I kind of look at to see if there's any bits of like uh, fat or yucky stuff. Like there's a film on the chicken and I usually just kind of scrape that off. Okay, I am ready now to put the chicken in. And let's, whoa. Oh, whoops. Okay, it's a little slippery. All right, get it in there. And then I'm going to put in I got some uh, classic tabachnik chicken soup. You don't, you can get any chicken broth. Okay, and I just cover it. That did say low sodium on the box, right Annie? Yes, it, okay, so for my sodium, I don't like to go above 300. So this is a little bit high, 380. I, I, because you're adding salt anyway. So it's kind of like, well, I watch my sodium because I have high blood pressure. Okay, then I have this little things, and this is... That's, that's Swanson's. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put that in. I'm gonna cover the, come, Kenny, come over here. 
please. Oh, you got uh, it. You're covering the chicken. I'm covering the chicken. Okay, good. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to take uh, two of the small ones. Okay. So now I got that going on. And now I'm going to add carrots and celery. And I like the tops of the celery to give it a little bit more flavor. So I'm going to throw this in. Oh, not throw it in, but you know. Okay, so now we have our chicken soup that we have, you know, whatever. And I have extra chicken cut up that I'm throwing in. This is going to be a really good hearty chicken soup. Um, and it's going to be full of good flavor. And it's, it's, and I'm mixing it up a little bit, Kenny. And once everything cooks down, um, I'll show you what I do. Now, some people can add water. You could add water uh, if you want. I like broth, but if it gets really, really kind of too thick, I will add some water. Okay? Good. So, so and, gotta... and some people could put white wine in it too. But because we don't, you know, put wine and stuff uh, in, you know, whatever. So you could do whatever you want to your taste. But this is how I make mine. Now I'm going to put the top on. I've got it cooking at, i got all my ingredients in there. The onion, the carrot, celery. I've got my chicken broth. And, oh, I got it on high, right? Yep, okay. and that's going to cook, that's going to cook, that's going to cook for roughly six hours, and then we'll Correct. check it then. Then Correct. we'll be back and we'll report our progress, yes. right? Okay, great. Thanks, Annie. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, I'm back. We are now at the second part of our chicken soup making. And in between everything else, we had to get a new faucet because our faucet had been uh, leaking underneath. And now we have a wonderful plumber called Kenny Tubman. So thank you, honey. Welcome. All right, let's get back okay. down to business. Yes. We have chicken soup that's been on the um, Instant Pot or Crock Pot. And I want you to get it close in, please. This is what happens when you don't clean, like, your chicken. And you just put the, the tried to get all the skin off. But you still have all this, like, I can't explain it. but It's, it's fat. Or as my no, grandfather, it's skin. Is, is, or schmaltz. I don't know if it's schmaltz. schmaltz it's just fat. skin. You don't want that in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to be taking these chunks of chicken out. So take everything, take your chicken out. Okay. So I'm just taking that out and all this other chicken that's in there, you know, you can pull that out too. But I, what I'm doing is I'm going to be cleaning up the soup so that when we have it tonight, it won't have all that stuff floating around. And actually, this is for my beloved aunt and mother, Mania Bluma and my mother, Rachel. And they showed me how to make this chicken soup in different stages. That's why I'm sharing this with you. Not everybody makes chicken soup like this. Okay. So I'm just telling you, and if you leave it in your crock pot too long, the chicken will disintegrate and all the vegetables. So you, you know, we've cooked it six hours. So I think that's good. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna shred this chicken. It comes right off the bone and that's what you want. You want it right off the bone. So we're shredding it. I'll debone it, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I, uh, uh, what's the word? Strain. Strain. Oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Okay, see you a little bit. All right, now I'm back. I, as you can see, I did pick out as much chicken as I could, okay? That looks good enough to eat. Yeah, yeah well, we're going to eat it later. Okay, okay, now I'm going to be straining this 
Oh, wait, I don't want this sitting in the sun. So I'm going to move this over here. Okay. Now I'm going to strain. I have, get a mesh strainer. Don't get one that has a lot of holes in it because you want to catch all that, uh, whatever, uh, skin. Okay. So now. Okay, so now, as you can see, the soup is nice and clear. It is nice and clear. Yes. You got your you caught your veggies, but those are going back in, right? Yep, they're going to go back in. But I'm I'm going to be straining the rest of this. Uh, and you added a little bit of water, didn't you? I did add a little bit of water because it was down a little bit. So watch, you know, it wasn't that it wasn't all the way up to here. It was down to here. So I did add some water. Okay. Now that is going to change the flavor of this, but it's still very. Flavorful. I bet with all that chicken, Annie, it's going to have lots of flavors. Yes. I'm, I'm sure that didn't. I'm sure that doesn't take anything away. No. Okay. So here we have. Here we have the the remnants of your. Um, Let's see, what do we have remnants of? That's uh, a good question. I don't know. Some, okay, no, we have we have the, the, the vegetables. The onions, the, the, the yep. onions, celery, carrots. Correct. Now and garlic. Now, okay, so I strained it, and now I'm going to You, why, you're just rinsing it out. I'm rinsing it out because because it has probably all that you know yucky stuff, skin, whatever we had earlier that I told you to get rid of. So this kind of strains it, and if you really are a purist, you would I would take this and I'm going to put this back in here. So I'm probably going to do that. You, so you might strain it again. I'm going to strain it again. Okay. Just to make sure that it's a clear broth. You okay. don't want any skin swimming around. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Thanks, Wait, Annie. are we done? Almost, yeah, we'll come back. Okay, bye. All right, so now I'm back. And this will be our last time together doing the chicken soup until we eat it tonight. All right, now I've got this again i got this chicken soup nice and clean yep but it's going to even be cleaner because you're gonna because do you're it doing again. it again okay look at that here's a real perfectionist everybody this is a real a real cook they don't make them like you anymore annie you know that right uh this i got from my aunts that's good so you, you still got, you caught a little bit more stuff, didn't you? Yeah, yep. So yeah, I, I got that. some so of the yucky so, stuff. So you'll just rinse that all out. Yep, that's going to be rinsed out. What's, what's going on over here at the table? Oh, yeah, and you know what? Uh, okay, so these are the vegetables. And you could use these or not. You don't have to. But you have chicken. And you know what I don't have, which I forgot to get, is fresh dill, which I might pick up at the store. Okay. But fresh dill is like perfect in this So dish. what would happen if we didn't Wait. have, let me ask you a question. What would happen if we didn't have all this chicken and vegetables? Okay. And we just had the broth, what would you do then? Then you could put in, uh, we found, we discovered this chicken goiza pot stickers, dark chicken and meat vegetable dumplings at Trader Joe's. You, these are delicious. And you're, they're frozen, but if you have hot soup, they will boil in your soup. Yeah, you, you can just heat them up in the yep, soup, right? Yep, yep, but we're not going to do that tonight because we have plenty of chicken. We do. Okay, so we'll catch up with you yes, a little bit over dinner. Yes, please subscribe to my channel, and thank you for joining us. Thanks, Annie. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Go. Go. Hi. Was that a cue, Kenny? You're good. Okay, yeah, all right. So uh, tonight we are celebrating a good friend from Oregon, Marcy. She's my college roommate. Hello. And we are still here and we're healthy, right? Okay. And we're going to have chicken soup. Now, come over here, Kenny. And we are going to sit down. And remember when I told you the clear Ooh, broth? That looks great. Yep, yep. Amazing. So this is what this is the end result. So I am going to finish my show with the gong. Okay, and, and we're going to enjoy dinner. Yes.
And you guys can catch up because you haven't seen each other yes, in a long time. I know. Oh, Lover. Okay, perfect. Happy to be here. See you later. Bye.